Hello and welcome to another edition of SayThatInFrench.com. I'm Jean-Claude Boudreau and today we look at how to say dog breeds in French. How to say dog breeds in French. Some of them translate pretty easily. Um, very similar from French to English and English to French. Some of them not so much. So um, some of them will actually be spelled the same way but pronounced differently. So we'll be looking at um, pretty much every variety. I'm gonna miss a few dog names. Uh, if I miss your particular pet, I'm sorry. Um, I apologize in advance. Um, maybe put a comment down below and uh, I'd be glad to, to, to answer those questions uh, and give you the proper pronunciation for that particular breed. But I've, I've covered quite a few breeds in this video, so let's get started. So the first one is the Husky. The Husky, uh, how to say Husky in French? Le Husky. Le Husky. Le Husky. So the H is pronounced a little bit softer. Le Husky. Le Husky. But the Y is still pronounced, it's a very similar sound in French. I. I. Le Husky. You try. Le Husky. Husky. As opposed to the English, Husky, which is a very strong H, Le Husky. So there's, there's not as much push to the H. Le Husky. All right, let's move along. Second, or as we would say in French, Le Deuxième. The first one, Le Premier. Le Husky. Le Deuxième. Can you guess this breed? That's right. It's the Labrador Retriever. The Labrador Retriever in French, c'est le chien. Le chien. Well, of course, chien is dog. Le chien. Chien. Le chien. The I-E-N is always yen. Yen. So if you put the C-H before, chien. Chien, and then a little different pronunciation here on Labrador, Labrador. So you're rolling the R. Le chien, Labrador. La, bra, dor. Labrador. Le chien, Labrador. You give a shot. Le. Chien, Labrador, le chien Labrador. Right on. All right, let's move along. Third, le troisième, le troisième, and uh, this is a very popular breed, right? The Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever, comment dit-on en français? C'est le Golden Retriever. Le Golden Retriever. Le Golden, instead of going Golden, uh, a, it becomes Le Golden, Le Golden Retriever. It's really, um, it's a borrowed English, borrowed from the English. Um, I think it's, it's the French pronunciation, best attempt to pronounce what's already fine in English, right? So, le golden retriever. The, the problem is, is if you go in France and you try to say the golden retriever, uh, they probably won't understand you because they're so accustomed to hearing le golden retriever. Uh, so, anyway, do with it what you will. We'll move along. The fourth one, le quatrième. Right? Anybody recognize this one? It's a terrier, right? That's right. So the terrier, en français, le terrier, le terrier. You'll notice the I E R at the end. It's always the sound ye. E R is a. I add the I ye. Terrier, le terrier. You try. 
le terrier. So again, there's the role of the R, terrier. Excellent. Doing great. I've lost track of which one we're at. I think it's the fifth one. The second is the pit bull, right? And uh, personally, I think this dog receives a lot of flack. There's a lot of really friendly pit bulls, from what I know. But anyway, uh, the pit bull in French, le pit bull, c'est ça. Hein? Le pit bull, the pit bull, le pit. A little stronger I, le pit bull, le pit bull. It almost sounds like the French word for ball, bull, uh, le pit bull. All right. Say goodbye to the friendly pit bull. Au revoir, pit bull. All right. And we'll say hello to our next breed of dog. I think it's the sixth one. Le sixième, the greyhound. And the greyhound, in French, a little bit different, right? Uh, let's look at the pronunciation here. You have the L, E accent aigu. E accent aigu, if you remember from previous videos, it's the sound E, le lé, le lévrier. All right, so let's look. Lé, vri, and again, it's that sound ER, le lévrier. All right, so the greyhound. Nothing like the pronunciation in French. Le lévrier. Le lévrier. All right. Number seven. Le septième. I believe, if I'm keeping track of things. The bulldog. Right. And how do you say that in French? Comment dit-on en français? Le bulldog. Okay, so that's pretty easy to remember. I think you could probably get away by saying le bulldog uh, and you would probably be understood in a French uh, environment. They sound so similar. Le bulldog, le bulldog. I think they'd probably understand you. But anyway, try to polish it by saying le bulldog, uh, le bulldog. All right, uh, let's move along. I think we're on the eighth one. Le huitième, the bloodhound. The bloodhound in French, le chien limier. Or also known as le limier. So, chien, we already know. Le is the, le chien. Often the breeds of dogs will say le blah blah blah, le bulldog. Okay, le, uh, je sais pas, Le berger allemand, German Shepherd, which we'll see a little bit later. Okay, so it's always le, le, le. So, le chien limier. You'd also get away with saying le limier. So, let's look at that. Li, mier, mier. Le limier. Le limier. Be careful not to say too much uh, of a, a relaxed A. Le limier, um, try to keep it tight here, et, right? keep it tight in the back. Le limier, as opposed to uh, a natural English sound, which would go a, which is the closest sound to the e accent aigu. Eh? The two, well, if you're looking at the video, it would be this way. So the, le e accent aigu is et. ER in French is E. Those are the sounds. So just practice those. E, 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 as opposed to A, 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 which is a natural English sound. Okay, so once again, the bloodhound, le chien, limier, le limier. Okay, I think it's number nine now. Right? The poodle. So cute, eh? Look at that. What a pretty face. All right. The poodle, le caniche. Le caniche. What's the relation between caniche and poodle? I don't know. Um, I think caniche was originated 
with the French. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research on it. Why not? It's a nice research project for the weekend. Le caniche. Le caniche. Strong C. It's a K sound. Ca niche. Le caniche. Le caniche. Okay. Super. Let's move along. The pug. Very cute. So the pug in French, en français, le carlin. Le car, again, strong C, car, lin. Le carlin. Le carlin. Excellent. Okay, moving right along. The beagle. This one's easy to remember. Le beagle. Le beagle. Hmm, very easy. So there's just a few dogs that really have completely different names in French and in English. Um, speaking of similar names in French and in English, okay, the Rottweiler, the Rottweiler in French, le Rottweiler, le Rottweiler, le Rottweiler. Probably get away with saying le Rottweiler, um, but again, le Rottweiler, okay, le Rottweiler. German Shepherd. Okay, so this one changes, right? The German, German in French, Allemand. A shepherd, shepherd in French is berger. All right, so even a shepherd, like a shepherd, shepherd, a real shepherd is a berger. So it's a, it's a translation, yes. So it becomes le berger. Let me find that here. Berger Allemand. Germany is Allemagne, German, Allemand, Allemand, le berger Allemand, le berger Allemand, you try, le berger Allemand, le berger Allemand, it's great, that's good. I think it sounds good. I'm assuming it sounds good on your end. All right, so we have here the Doberman Pinscher. Right? Doberman Pinscher, uh, quite a beautiful animal. And in French, it's simply le Doberman. Le Doberman. Le Doberman. It's almost a man between a man and a man. Doberman. Le Doberman. Uh, and that's it. It's easy to remember. You don't even have to say pincher. Le Doberman. Next breed, the Great Dane. Wow, what a majestic animal. The Great Dane. And Dane in French is Danois. Great is Grand. So you have two choices here, two options. You can say Le Grand Danois, which is a literal translation, Le Grand Danois, the Great Dane, or it's also known as Le Danois. So here, O I S O E S is it? Wa. Wa. Da. Let's find that here. Da. Noix. Le Danois. Right on. Off we go, next breed, the St. Bernard. The St. Bernard, you'd probably be best in pronouncing it well in French here because it's a, it's quite different, all right? It's, it's the same spelling, St. Bernard, well, here in French, le saint, so you're not pronouncing the T. Anytime you'll hear, you'll see saint in French, it's always saint, the T is silent. And Bernard is pronounced Bernard, le Saint Bernard, le Saint Ber, again rolling the R, Nard, Bernard, le Saint Bernard, le Saint Bernard. All right, let's try that one. Compare it to this one. 
Le Saint Bernard. Super. Moving along. The Dalmatian. Um, similar spelling, similar pronunciation, little variation from English to French. Dalmatian is spelled with the A-N. In French, it's spelled with the E-N. Dalmatian becomes le Dalmatien. Le Dalmatien. Dalmatien. Le Dalmatien. Okay. Uh, next, the Yorkie or the Yorkshire Terrier. And in French, it's simply called le York. Le York. 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 The R's, lots of R's in the dog names, eh? I've noticed that. Le York. Okay, moving on. The Basset Hound. So docile and friendly. The Basset Hound. The Basset Hound in French, easy to remember. Le Basset. Le Basset. Le Basset. Alors, uh, the T is silent. Le Basset. Le Basset. This is a sheepdog. Sheepdog. And it becomes what? Le chien de berger. So it's really the shepherd's dog. Le chien de berger. Uh, there's also the English sheepdog, which is this big, furry, bushy sheepdog. And you would simply say le, le berger anglais. Le, le berger anglais, le, the English sheepdog. Le chien de berger anglais. Uh, this is the boxer, right? Yes, it is. The boxer, uh, in French, will become le chien. Boxer. Le chien boxer. Le chien boxer. Oh, that's a, that's a cool looking animal. All right, so that brings us to the end. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's, uh, it would be like right here on your side. It's the red button. And if you want to be notified of my new videos, click on the bell. And you know, uh, you'll be notified every time one of my videos comes out. All right, for more helpful expressions to help you in French, please visit my website, saythatinfrench.com. Uh, there you'll find activities, uh, videos like these, and, and more other useful stuff in French. So again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.